What's up, Internet? Rubius the Archivist here, welcoming you back to the archives. Since Gaijin Goomba is in Japan right now, I thought I'd take a shot at the Japanese culture with something that is near and dear to my heart. A TV show that has come over to the U.S. a few times, but was pretty... well, not really well received. Due to poor toy sales, or just something else in the way, I don't know, but... Hopefully you might recognize well, Hopefully I hope to introduce you to something new. It is called The Common Riders. The Common Riders were created as a manga by Ishinomori Shotaro. In 1971, they transitioned to Tokusatsu or live action TV show. Ishinomori was responsible for other creations such as Cyborg 009 and the Super Sentai series that would later be known as Power Rangers to the US. Before going any further, I forgot to mention this. Common Rider is Japanese for Masked Rider. Common meaning masked and rider because he drives a motorcycle. The Common Rider series starting in 1971 with Ichigo and Nigo would last two years ending in 1973. Following the third rider of the series, V3, going on to Riders X, Amazon, and Stronger. But after Stronger's season finished, the riders were shelved for another of Ishinomori's creations, the Super Sentai. Himitsu Sentai Gorenza. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong, I am self-taught in the Japanese department. The riders returned in 1979 with Kamen Rider Skyrider, and ending the Showa era with a bang known as Kamen Rider Black RX. There were also movies and specials featuring riders, but I'll get to that later. While I'm thinking about it, the Japanese have periods of history called eras. The Showa era was from 1945 to 1989, marking the death of the emperor Hirohito due to duodenal cancer. His son Akihito succeeded him in 1989. To bring the start of the Heisei era. And with a new era comes a new rider. But this new rider wouldn't show up until 2000. The one I'm talking about is Kamen Rider Kuga. In 1995, Saban tried to bring the riders to the US using the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in a crossover special. Take the original Black RX costume, make a new story, add in some stock footage, and you get... Before going on, I would just like to say I do not own this, Power Rangers, Super Sentai, or Kamen Riders. They belong to their respective owners. Thank you. Fast Rider! Fast Rider! On a distant and embattled planet called Edenoi, a young prince named Dex is given great powers by his grandfather, the king, and is sent to the planet Earth to protect it from the advancing evil of Count Dragon and his vicious insectoids. Once on Earth, he is adopted by a kind family and learns to live as a human. With his companion Furbus by his side, Dex is ever vigilant, ready at a moment's notice to call on his powers to become Masked Rider. Hard to believe Saban didn't bring more riders over after a whopping 40 episodes of this. Unfortunately, Black RX is the last common rider Ishinomori Shotaro would ever work on because he died in 1998 due to heart failure. His legacy lives on due to the Ishinomori Manga Museum that opened in his honor in Ishinomaki Miyagi and trains on the Senseki line have been commissioned featuring his artwork. Over the years, more riders have been coming out of the woodwork and I'm stopping on this one because I think Gaijin Goomba might get a kick out of it. Common Rider Hibiki features the power of Oni. Did you hear me? Oni. Certain people train their whole lives to use the power of Oni to protect humans 
from other monsters. One uses a trumpet, another a guitar, and Hibiki uses a taiko drum. If that doesn't scream Japanese culture, I don't know what does. Kamen Rider Decayed was the 10th rider created in the Heisei era. He has the ability to transform into other riders. But personally, I think they just created him to celebrate 10 years of riders in the Heisei era. After a few more riders, we get to the present, Common Rider Z.O., and personally, one of my favorites. Everybody on the internet is calling him Double Decayed. No. Nope. Personally, I am not seeing that. I see Z.O. as a celebration of the entirety of the Heisei era in rider form. I mean, throughout the course of this show, past actors from past rider shows have made guest appearances to give him rider watches. If you don't believe me, look at this! Sure, Decay did this kind of thing first, but he's got nothing on this. Even though it started on May 1st of this year, the Reiwa era is in full swing now that Akihito has abdicated his throne and his son Naruhito is handling things. And like with Kuga before him, Kamen Rider Zero One has made the scene. I look forward to seeing how the future turns out, and that's about it for my video. For this episode of the Archives, I have made a timeline of the Kamen Rider series in chronological order, which also includes Kamen Riders only found in movies and specials. Thanks for clicking the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon for future videos. And remember people, if you have trouble remembering something or want to look something up that is cool, please check the archives. <laughs> Oh,